relying on a compounded transdermal progesterone cream after menopause might not be worth the risks, especially if you still have a uterus. Too many women have put their trust in progesterone creams only to discover months or years later that that cream wasn't doing what they thought it would. Progesterone transdermal cream is widely used among functional medicine doctors, nurse practitioners, PAs. That widespread use can be traced back to the late Dr. John Lee. In his 1996 bestseller, What Your Doctor May Not Tell You About Menopause, Dr. Lee promoted natural progesterone as a safer alternative to conventional hormone therapy. Lee was opposed to estrogen, believing it caused cancer, and instead championed progesterone-only therapy, specifically in a transdermal cream. His reasoning was that transdermal progesterone bypasses the liver and avoids what he believed were dangerous metabolites from oral progesterone. While Dr. Lee sparked some important conversations about hormones, more recent research shows that his promotion of progesterone alone in a transdermal cream isn't probably backed by reliable data, especially when it comes to protecting the uterus. Compounding pharmacies can make a high-quality progesterone cream using USP-grade progesterone. That cream will be custom formulated to your provider's exact specifications, just the right dose. But just because it's tailored for you doesn't mean progesterone cream is safe for protecting the uterus. The issue isn't the quality of the cream, it's how the body absorbs it. Progesterone just isn't absorbed all that reliably through the skin. The skin's a surprisingly effective barrier. It's designed to keep things out. When we apply hormones like progesterone topically or transdermally, only a small portion of that progesterone actually makes it through the skin and into the bloodstream. Even then, the amount can vary wildly between women based on skin thickness, body fat percentage, the type of cream base that's used. There are also some practical limitations that come into play. Estradiol and even testosterone in a compounded transdermal cream both absorb pretty well. But progesterone requires 20 to 100 times higher doses than estradiol or testosterone. The higher the dose, the harder it is to get that dose through the skin. Transdermal progesterone cream raised serum levels some, but not enough to counteract the effects of estradiol on the uterine lining. Women were absorbing some progesterone, but not enough to prevent dangerous endometrial overgrowth or hyperplasia. One provider told me about a woman in her late 50s who had been using compounded estrogen and progesterone in a cream for several years. She felt great until she started getting some spotting. A pelvic ultrasound revealed a dangerously thickened endometrium. That patient had no idea that she'd been unprotected that whole time. Well, I've spoken with several hormone optimization specialists who ended up taking over the care for women who had used compounded progesterone creams from another doctor along with estradiol. Well, just to be safe, these providers gave transvaginal ultrasounds to these women and found significant, sometimes dangerous, endometrial thickening. The providers immediately switched the patients from a cream to an oral form of progesterone, and after a few months, that thickened endometrium receded back to normal levels. This isn't a problem with compounding pharmacy. The issue is about the delivery method. Progesterone in a transdermal cream just doesn't reliably protect the uterus. That means that you could be unknowingly increasing your risk for endometrial hyperplasia and ultimately endometrial cancer. Some women do feel better on progesterone cream. It may help with mood swings, anxiety, or even hot flashes. There is anecdotal evidence that progesterone cream is helpful and may help with some symptoms, but the science, even about symptom relief, is a little bit thin. There's not a lot of evidence that progesterone cream helps consistently with sleep, like oral progesterone does. Most women tolerate the progesterone cream pretty well. That may have something to do with the fact that not that much is getting in. It can cause some skin irritation. Obviously, that's where it hasn't gotten in yet. But the real danger is the false sense of security. If you're using estradiol and you still have a uterus, I would recommend avoiding progesterone in a transdermal cream. It just is a little too risky. You need a form of progesterone that reliably protects your endometrium like oral progesterone capsules do. Those 
Progesterone capsules have been studied extensively, and we know the progesterone converts in the liver to metabolites like allopregnanolone. Oral progesterone protects the uterus, but also helps women sleep, calms their anxiety, helps them feel more emotionally stable. I've talked with one very experienced hormone specialist who has had a lot of success prescribing progesterone in an organic oil base that he developed. His patients seem to have some endometrial protection, but overall, I recommend extreme caution with compounded transdermal progesterone in a cream form. Watch my next video to see why progesterone in a vaginal gel can be great at protecting your uterus but may or may not help you avoid those 3 a.m. awakenings.